Dear brothers and sisters, it's an honor to be in the presence of God, sharing this sacred moment of praise and worship. This is the time when we raise our voices and open our hearts to the Lord, declaring His majesty and glory. Let us remember that our praise is a sweet aroma to our Heavenly Father. And as we worship, we invite His presence to fill this space. In Psalm chapter 100 verse 4, we are encouraged with these words, Enter His gates with thanksgiving and His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him and praise His name. As we gather here today, we are at the gates of God's presence, ready to enter with hearts full of gratitude and voices lifted in praise. Think for a moment about the blessings and grace that God has bestowed upon your life. His love is boundless, His mercy is overflowing, and His faithfulness is unwavering. In Romans chapter 5, verse 8, we find this comforting truth. But God demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. God's love for us was evident even before we turned to Him, and this is a reason to celebrate. In our praise and worship, we declare God's Word over our lives, and this is a powerful and transformative act. The Bible tells us in Psalm chapter 34, verse 1, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Let these words be our anthem, a melody that plays in our hearts and on our lips, a constant reminder to praise God in every circumstance. Praise is not reserved for moments of joy and abundance. We are called to praise Him in the midst of trials and tribulations, for it's in those moments that our faith is truly tested and refined. As we make time for God, our perspective shifts. We see His hand at work even in the darkest of times, and our praise becomes a declaration of trust in His plan. It's important to understand that praise and worship go beyond mere songs and melodies. Our entire lives are an opportunity for worship. In Romans chapter 12, verse 1, we are urged I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Every act of kindness, every word of encouragement, every display of love and forgiveness is an act of worship. By making time for God, we are acknowledging His Lordship over our lives and dedicating ourselves to be living sacrifices, vessels through which His love and light can shine. Think about the beauty of creation, the grandeur of the mountains, the vastness of the oceans, and the intricacy of a single leaf. In Psalm chapter 148, verse 5, we're reminded that let them praise the name of the Lord, for at His command they were created. All of creation sings praises to the Creator, and we, as His most cherished creation, are called to join in this glorious chorus. Our praise and worship should be a genuine outpouring of our hearts, a reflection of our love for God. It's not about the eloquence of our words or the perfection of our voices, it's about the sincerity of our worship. When we make time for God, we create space in our hearts for this authenticity to flourish. As we delve deeper into our time of praise and worship, let us remember that our declarations of God's word over our lives are not empty words. In Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11, we are assured so is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. When we declare God's word, we are participating in His divine plan. 
inviting His blessings, and aligning our lives with His purpose. Consider the promises God has made in His Word, promises of provision, protection, and guidance. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, we find this assurance, And my God will supply every need of yours according to His riches in glory in Christ Jesus. As we praise and worship, we can declare this promise over our lives, trusting that God will provide for us abundantly. In moments of doubt or uncertainty, when the storms of life seem overwhelming, Let's remember the words of Psalm chapter 34, verses 17 to 18. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Our praise and worship invite the Lord's closeness and deliverance in our times of need. Let us take a moment to bow our heads in prayer, inviting God's blessings upon our time of praise and worship. Join me in this prayer. Heavenly Father, as we stand before you in this sacred moment of praise and worship, we are reminded of your incredible love and boundless grace. We are grateful for the opportunity to declare your majesty and to lift our voices to exalt your holy name. Lord, we are humbled by your unfailing love, a love that knows no bounds and endures through every trial and tribulation. Your promises sustain us, and your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. We declare your word over our lives with unwavering faith, knowing that it will accomplish the purpose for which it was sent. May our praise and worship be more than words. May they be an offering from the depths of our hearts. May our worship be pleasing to you, like a fragrant incense rising to your heavenly throne. We come before you, not with eloquent speeches, but with sincerity and authenticity. We ask for your blessings to continue to flow, dear Lord, as we dedicate this time to draw nearer to your presence. Open our hearts and minds to receive your grace, wisdom, and guidance. Transform us, Lord, into vessels of your love and light so that we may shine brightly in a world that so desperately needs your presence. In the name of Jesus, our Savior, we offer this prayer. May our praises be heard, our worship be felt, and our lives be a testimony to your glory. Amen. <laughs>